March 2025, an announcement sent shockwaves through defense circles worldwide. The United States had been flying a sixth-generation fighter demonstrator in complete secrecy for nearly five years. Not a concept, not a proposal, an actual aircraft breaking records that nobody outside classified programs knew existed. While analysts debated what sixth generation might look like, Boeing and Lockheed Martin were already proving it in the air. Hundreds of flight hours testing technologies that didn't exist in any operational fighter. Supersonic speeds combined with stealth characteristics that seemed physically impossible. The F-47 wasn't some future concept awaiting development. It had been dominating test ranges since 2020, validating capabilities that make even the F-22 Raptor look like yesterday's technology. Today, we're examining what those secret flights achieved, why the Air Force kept this program buried so deep that even congressional oversight barely knew details, and what it means for air superiority in an era where adversaries are developing their own advanced fighters. This isn't just another aircraft story. This is about a technological leap so significant that it fundamentally changes how we think about air combat. The secret flights, five years of classified test flights, five years of pushing experimental aircraft to limits that seemed impossible. While defense analysts published papers debating sixth generation requirements, American engineers were already proving those concepts in actual flight. The X-plane demonstrators flew several hundred hours each, not simulations, not wind tunnel predictions, actual supersonic flights testing revolutionary technologies. These weren't prototypes of the production F-47. They were experimental platforms designed to answer one critical question. Could America build a fighter that dominates both speed and stealth simultaneously? Every previous attempt hit the same fundamental limitation. Want Mach 2 speeds? Your aircraft heats up dramatically, creating infrared signatures visible for hundreds of miles. Want total stealth? You sacrifice speed and maneuverability. The physics seemed impossible to overcome. Something changed during those secret flights. In September 2020, DARPA announced that their demonstrators had broken records. They didn't specify which records. They didn't release footage or detailed specifications. They simply confirmed that American engineers had achieved something unprecedented. The F-22 Raptor, America's previous pinnacle of air dominance, maxes out around Mach 2.25, the F-35, built for multi-role flexibility, tops out at Mach 1.6. Both represent the absolute peak of fifth-generation technology. The F-47 surpasses both. Specifications suggest Mach 2.2 minimum, possibly higher. But here's what makes it revolutionary. Maintaining those speeds without compromising stealth characteristics, traditional fighters generate massive heat signatures at supersonic speeds. Aerodynamic friction alone creates temperatures that would destroy conventional radar-absorbent materials. That's why most stealth aircraft cruise at subsonic speeds. Speed or stealth, pick one. The F-47 achieved both simultaneously, and the technology that made this possible required breakthroughs in material science that didn't exist five years ago. The stealth revolution. The Air Force designated the F-47 as Stealth Double Plus. Not just stealth, not even enhanced stealth like the F-22 a completely new category of low observability. Every fighter jet radiates signatures, radar waves bounce off surfaces, engines generate heat, even the shape creates disturbances in air molecules that sophisticated sensors can detect. Fifth generation fighters minimize these signatures. Sixth generation aims to nearly eliminate them. Researchers developed breakthrough ceramic materials that fundamentally change radar absorbent technology Traditional RAM coatings are polymer-based, essentially specialized plastics. They work effectively but have limitations. Rain degrades them, sand scratches them, high-speed flight heats them beyond operational effectiveness. This new ceramic coating absorbs over 90% of radar energy while maintaining durability that previous materials couldn't match. It's harder than sand, so desert operations don't destroy it. It's water-resistant, so rain and sea spray can't degrade performance. Most critically, it maintains effectiveness at the extreme temperatures generated by sustained Mach 2 plus flight. Consider what that enables. A fighter that can sprint into contested airspace at speeds approaching 1,700 miles per hour while remaining virtually invisible to enemy radar systems. By the time hostile air defenses detect anything, the F-47 has already launched weapons and departed the area. But speed and stealth alone don't determine combat effectiveness. The F-47's combat radius exceeds 1,000 nautical miles, roughly 1,150 standard miles of operational reach without refueling. 
Compare that to the F-22's approximately 590 mile combat radius. We're talking about nearly double the penetration depth into enemy territory. For Pacific theater operations, those numbers are strategically decisive. China has constructed massive anti-access slash area denial networks across the South China Sea and beyond. Surface-to-air missiles, radar installations, fighter bases, all designed to keep American aircraft far from Chinese shores. The F-47 can operate from bases in Guam or Japan and still reach deep into contested zones, complete its mission, and return home without tanker support for many scenarios. Production and acquisition, the Air Force plans acquiring 185 F-47s, matching the original F-22 fleet size. But each F-47 brings capabilities that would require multiple F-22s to achieve. Longer range means fewer tankers needed. Better stealth means higher survival rates. Advanced sensors mean superior situational awareness. It's not simply a replacement. It's a multiplication of combat power. Boeing invested billions in manufacturing facilities before even winning the contract. They constructed specialized production lines for classified aircraft. They trained workers on advanced manufacturing techniques. When the contract award came in March 2025, they were ready to begin building immediately. That represents unprecedented confidence in both the technology and the military requirement. Boeing bet enormous resources on NGAD because they knew what their demonstrators had achieved. They knew the Air Force had no other viable option for maintaining air superiority against peer competitors. The first production F-47 is already under construction. First flight is scheduled for 2028 with operational capability expected by 2029 to 2030. Those timelines are remarkably aggressive for advanced military aircraft. The F-35 took over a decade from first flight to operational capability. The F-47 might accomplish it in under two years because the technology has already been validated through those secret X-plane flights. Speed is a weapon. Speed in modern air combat isn't just about velocity. It's about energy management, positioning advantage, and mission flexibility. When an F-47 enters combat airspace at Mach 2 Plus, it carries enormous kinetic energy. That energy translates directly into weapons performance. An air-to-air -air missile launched from a fighter already traveling Mach 2 starts with a massive speed advantage. Its range extends significantly. Its target has drastically less reaction time. The physics favor the faster platform decisively. But there's another advantage rarely discussed publicly, escape capability. Not every mission proceeds according to plan. Sometimes you encounter unexpected threats. Sometimes you need to abort and exit rapidly. A fighter capable of sustained Mach 2 plus can simply outrun most threats. Enemy fighters can't intercept it. Many missiles can't catch it. Speed becomes the ultimate defensive capability. The F-47 also features super cruise capability, sustained supersonic flight without afterburners. Afterburners consume fuel at enormous rates and create massive infrared signatures. They're effective for short bursts, but unsustainable for extended missions. Super cruise means the F-47 can maintain supersonic speeds throughout most of its mission profile while conserving fuel and remaining stealthy. Consider a typical deep strike mission profile. The F-47 takes off, accelerates to supersonic cruise, penetrates hundreds of miles into hostile airspace, engages targets and returns, all while maintaining supersonic speed and stealth. The enemy never achieves a clear radar lock. Their fighters can't intercept. Their missiles can't catch up. By the time adversaries figure out something happened, the F-47 is already back in friendly airspace. This isn't theoretical. Those X-plane demonstrators that flew for five years prove these capabilities under actual flight conditions. Boeing's CEO described the transition from demonstrator to production as remarkably smooth because the design was already mature and validated. The Loyal Wingman Multiplier Traditional air combat doctrine involves formations of manned aircraft, four ship flights, division tactics, mutual support. Every fighter requires a pilot, which limits acceptable risk. Losing aircraft means losing highly trained aviators. The F-47 changes this calculus entirely through collaborative combat aircraft, AI-controlled drones that accompany the manned fighter into combat. The Air Force is developing multiple CCA variants under experimental designations. These aren't simple, remotely controlled drones. They're sophisticated combat aircraft with their own sensors, weapons, and decision-making capabilities. The F-47 pilot commands them like a quarterback directing offensive plays. Imagine a strike package, one F-47 with four loyal wingman drones. The drones spread out, creating a sensor network covering hundreds of square miles. They detect threats, 
jam enemy radars, and draw fire away from the manned aircraft. If missiles launch, the drones can intercept or absorb them. The F-47 pilot maintains overall tactical command while AI handles moment-to-moment -moment execution. This approach solves multiple problems simultaneously. First, it multiplies combat power without requiring more pilots. The Air Force currently faces pilot shortages. CCAS helped bridge that gap. Second, it allows sophisticated risk management. Send drones into the most dangerous areas while the manned fighter operates from positions of advantage. Third, it overwhelms enemy defenses through sheer numbers and complexity. Adversary systems must track and engage multiple targets simultaneously, degrading their effectiveness. Current CCA designs have limitations. Their range sits around 700 nautical miles, somewhat less than the F-47. They're subsonic and lack the advanced stealth of the manned fighter. But the program is structured in increments. Future versions will improve across all dimensions, speed, range, stealth, and capability. The Air Force envisions acquiring over 1,000 CCAs to support 185 F-47s. That's roughly five to six drones per manned fighter. Each F-47 becomes the nucleus of a powerful combat formation capable of missions that would previously require dozens of aircraft. And here's the critical detail. This entire system, F-47 plus loyal wingmen, is already being tested. The technology isn't conceptual, it's flying. Integration work is happening right now. Strategic implications? The strategic implications ripple across global power dynamics. China revealed its own sixth-generation fighter concepts in late 2024. Russia claims to be developing similar capabilities, but America flew operational demonstrators while competitors were still working on design concepts. That head start matters enormously in military technology development. Air superiority determines outcomes in modern conflict. If you control the skies, you can operate ground forces, conduct strikes, and project power. Without air superiority, everything becomes exponentially harder. The F-47 ensures America maintains that advantage for decades. Consider the Pacific scenario that shapes current strategic planning. China has invested heavily in anti-access capabilities designed to keep American forces away from Taiwan and other contested areas. The F-47's combination of speed, stealth, and range allows it to operate throughout that environment with acceptable risk. It can launch from Guam, penetrate Chinese air defenses, establish air superiority over the Taiwan Strait, and return home. No other fighter currently operational anywhere can claim that capability. The Air Force Chief of Staff described the F-47 as the most advanced, capable, and lethal aircraft ever built. Not one of the most, not among the best, the most, period. That's not rhetoric. That's assessment based on classified performance data that makes public specifications look modest by comparison. The F-47 is designated Increment 1. There will likely be future variants with even more advanced capabilities as threats evolve. Sixth generation isn't a single aircraft design, but an ongoing family of systems that can adapt as technology and requirements change. Technology enablers. Several breakthrough technologies enable the F-47's unprecedented capabilities. Advanced propulsion systems developed under the Next Generation Adaptive Propulsion Program provide the thrust necessary for sustained high-speed flight while maintaining fuel efficiency. These aren't traditional turbofan engines. They're variable cycle systems that can adjust their configuration during flight, optimizing for different mission phases. During cruise, they prioritize efficiency. During combat, they deliver maximum thrust. Novel aerodynamic designs maintain stealth while minimizing drag. The airframe shape is optimized using computational methods that didn't exist when the F-22 was designed. Every surface, every angle contributes to both aerodynamic efficiency and radar signature reduction. Thermal management systems dissipate heat without creating detectable infrared signatures. This is perhaps the most challenging technical problem. Managing the enormous heat generated by Mach 2 plus flight without that heat becoming visible to enemy sensors. The solution involves sophisticated cooling systems, advanced materials that tolerate extreme temperatures, and careful airframe design that distributes heat in ways that minimize detection. Advanced sensors and networking capabilities allow the F-47 to integrate seamlessly with other platforms. It can receive targeting data from satellites, share information with other fighters, and coordinate with CCAs, all through secure, jam-resistant communications. What it means? The F-47 represents more than just another fighter jet entering service. It's a statement about American technological leadership and military commitment. While other nations reduced defense budgets hoping for peaceful outcomes, America continued investing in capabilities that preserve peace through strength. 
The F-47 isn't designed for aggression. It's designed to make aggression against American interests impossibly costly for potential adversaries. The men and women who designed this aircraft, who built the demonstrators, who flew hundreds of hours of test flights, they did it in complete secrecy. No public recognition, no media attention, just quiet dedication to ensuring America maintains its technological edge. Those secret flights over the past five years weren't just testing aircraft performance. They were validating that America can still build systems so advanced that competitors don't understand what they're facing until it's operational. The F-47 flies faster, stealthier, and farther than any combat aircraft before it, and it's real. It's being built right now. By 2029, it will be operational, extending America's air superiority advantage by decades. The advantage maintained, the F-47 didn't just break speed records. It broke the assumption that America's technological edge was narrowing. It proved that when properly funded and managed, American innovation remains unmatched. China and Russia are developing their own advanced fighters. They will eventually field capable systems. But the head start America gained through those secret demonstration flights creates an advantage measured in years, possibly decades. During that time, the F-47 will be operational, deployed, and continuously improved. Adversaries will be trying to match capabilities that America has already surpassed with follow-on developments. That's the lesson of the F-47 program. American military technology doesn't just match peer competitors. When programs are executed effectively, it leaps ahead by generations. The next time you hear about threats to American air dominance, remember that the F-47 has been flying since 2020. Remember that technologies being revealed today were proven years ago in secret. And remember that what's being developed in classified programs right now is probably even more impressive. American air superiority isn't just maintained, it's extended. And that's good news for everyone who values the stability that American military strength provides to the international system. If you found this examination of the F-47 program valuable, let us know in the comments what aspect you found most significant and make sure you're subscribed for continued analysis of military aviation developments that are shaping the future of air combat. Thanks for watching.